Imagine a realm where the stars cease their twinkling and galaxies decide to cease their activity. What mysteries might lie beyond this newfound boundary? Are we teetering on the brink of unraveling the greatest cosmic enigma or is this merely the commencement of a fresh chapter in our cosmic journey? Well, it appears that Webb claims to have pinpointed the end of space itself. Yes, you heard correctly, the final frontier may not be as boundless as once presumed. But wait, how can space have an end? Wasn't it thought to extend infinitely? Let's delve into what's truly unfolding. Upon hearing this revelation, I was eager to explore one of the myriad mysteries of the universe. The James Webb Telescope has been diligently probing and its findings are revolutionizing our comprehension of the cosmos. In a mere 12 hours of observation, this marvel has unveiled phenomena that left us awestruck and perplexed. Now, let's collectively envision the vastness of the universe. Let your imagination roam freely, contemplating the farthest reaches of space. Let's now ascertain the extent of the James Webb Space Telescope's vision. So, join us aboard our imaginary spacecraft as we embark on this journey. As we journey to the edge of our solar system, passing by planets such as Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, we cover 100 astronomical units. Here, at the heliosphere boundary, we enter interstellar space, already explored by Voyager 1 and 2. Progressing further, we encounter the Oort Cloud, a collection of asteroids 200,000 astronomical units from Earth. Navigating through this sparse region, we enter complete darkness, passing stars and planets until we reach the edge of our galaxy within minutes. We realize that our universe is not infinite, it possesses a boundary 10 billion light years away, and there might exist other universes. Black holes could serve as gateways to these alternate universes. These enigmatic entities, warping both space and time, might be linked to white holes, theorized to be their opposites. Some even speculate that the peculiar burst of energy in 2006 could have been a baby white hole, fleeting in its existence. Let's now contemplate the Andromeda galaxy hurtling toward us at 68 meters per second. Although it won't collide with us imminently, the eventual merger promises spectacular phenomena, such as stellar collisions and the formation of supermassive black holes. Furthermore, there are vast cosmic structures such as the South Pole Wall and the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, each spanning billions of light years. The observable universe houses over 500 billion galaxies interconnected by a vast cosmic web. Recent observations with the James Webb Space Telescope have unveiled what could be the oldest strand of this cosmic web yet discovered. Scientists, utilizing data from the telescope, have identified a colossal filament comprising ten closely packed galaxies, stretching over three million light years. This ancient structure dates back to a mere 830 million years after the Big Bang, shedding light on the universe's infancy. In summary, the universe is a tapestry of unimaginable complexity and scale, with discoveries continually reshaping our understanding of its intricacies. And guess what anchors this immense thread? A supermassive black hole, of course. But this black hole isn't your run-of-the-mill type. It's a quasar, an extraordinarily luminous celestial object that serves as the cornerstone for this cosmic structure. The team responsible for this astonishing revelation is part of the Aspire project. What's Aspire, you ask? Well, it stands for a spectroscopic survey of biased halos in the reionization era. Quite a fancy title, isn't it? Their mission? To unravel how the earliest black holes influenced the evolution of galaxies. And guess what led them to this ancient filament? One of the 25 early universe quasars they had their sights set on. Fage Wang, an astrophysicist from the University of Arizona and the brains behind Aspire, is understandably thrilled. This is one of the earliest filamentary structures that people have ever found associated with a distant quasar, he exclaimed. It's like stumbling upon a cosmic treasure map revealing secrets of the universe's early days. Now here's where it gets fascinating. The researchers speculate that black holes played a pivotal role in shaping this cosmic web. Imagine black holes acting as magnets, drawing matter together with their gravitational pull. However, they also occasionally expel matter far into space with what they term cosmic winds. Gravity acts as the adhesive that keeps these strands of stars and dust interconnected, despite the cosmic wind's attempts to pull them apart across the vast expanse of the universe. So, what does the future hold for this ancient filament? Well, the researchers have an intriguing theory. They believe that over time, this cosmic thread will condense into a cluster of galaxies, reminiscent of the Coma Cluster, located approximately 330 million light-years away from us. It's akin to witnessing the universe craft its own intricate masterpiece over millions of years. When the Webb telescope focused its mirrors on a patch of sky, it observed far more light and galaxies than anticipated, and not just any galaxies, but massive, luminous ones. 
Scientists are now scratching their heads, pondering various possibilities to explain this cosmic mystery. And let me tell you, these possibilities are akin to forks in the road, each leading to new questions and understandings. Option 1. Perhaps stars and galaxies formed differently and more efficiently in the early universe. Picture a dark room with fewer stars and galaxies, making it easier for them to form rapidly. It's unexpected, but it doesn't completely overturn our existing knowledge. Option 2. What if the brightness doesn't stem from stars but from supermassive black holes? Yes, you heard correctly. Instead of galaxies teeming with stars, we might be witnessing galaxies illuminated by these enigmatic black holes. If true, it challenges our understanding of how many of these behemoths existed in the early universe. Option 3. The most extreme possibility is that our understanding of the universe's recipe book, known as cosmology, is incomplete. It's a radical notion, but it could revolutionize our comprehension of everything. Option 4. Then there's the wildcard option. There might be some unknown component of the universe that we haven't even considered yet. Why does all of this matter? It's about finding our place in the cosmos and comprehending the story of how we came to be. If we're missing a crucial piece in this narrative, it's akin to trying to solve a puzzle without all the necessary pieces. And the more we delve into this mystery, the more questions arise. Recent revelations from the James Webb Telescope have provided a reality check regarding the universe's size. Scientists dropped a bombshell in a recent paper, claiming that the telescope captured glimpses of objects just 120 million years after the Big Bang, if indeed the Big Bang occurred. Moreover, it challenges the very foundations of the standard cosmological model. The universe might not be as ancient as previously thought, and Einstein's idea of its infinite age appears to have missed the mark. Our intuition has been deceiving us, leading us to realize that we don't truly grasp what lies beyond. The James Webb Telescope peers into space, striving to see as far as possible, yet it can only reach approximately 46.5 billion light years away, what we call the Hubble radius or Hubble sphere. And guess what? The most distant galaxy ever discovered by the telescope, the Macy's Galaxy, existed just 450 million years after the Big Bang and is still within this Hubble sphere. Our universe resembles a balloon continuously expanding, not only stretching but accelerating in its expansion. Beyond the Hubble sphere, the universe expands faster than the speed of light. However, the Hubble sphere won't continue growing indefinitely. There's a cosmic horizon limit, a fancy term for the observable universe. Picture a colossal imaginary shell around us, 93 light years wide, that's our boundary, the farthest we can observe. Anything beyond that remains invisible to us, as the light from there hasn't reached us yet. So, how vast is the entire universe outside our cosmic shell? Well, that's a question that still eludes us. Competing theories and complex mathematics challenge our understanding. Some propose it could be infinite, while others suggest otherwise. Numbers are thrown around, suggesting the universe is 10 to the power of 122 times larger than what we can currently observe. However, the distribution of matter in the universe and the uniform spread of temperature in the cosmic microwave background radiation hint that our universe could be infinite. Yes, you heard it correctly, infinite. This notion is mind-blowing in itself. When we peer into the vastness of space, we're not merely observing distant galaxies, we're essentially looking back in time. Those galaxies we see near the Hubble sphere aren't snapshots of the present, they're akin to cosmic fossils, remnants of an ancient era billions of years ago. It's as if we have a time machine, allowing us to peer into the distant past by gazing far into the cosmos. According to our cosmological model, approximately 14 billion years ago, the entire observable universe was condensed into a minuscule point called the singularity. That's the standard narrative assuming the universe is finite. However, if the universe is indeed infinite, as it seems to suggest, then the Big Bang wasn't a localized event, it occurred everywhere simultaneously. The first galaxies didn't emerge in a specific region of space. They were the universe's grand opening act, happening ubiquitously, even beyond our observable horizon. The burning question, however, remains, what initiated it all? What or who catalyzed the creation of everything from nothingness? Einstein initially resisted the concept of the Big Bang, preferring the notion of a steady-state universe that had existed eternally. Yet, equations possess a persuasive power eventually swaying his stance. Nonetheless, some, including our friendly scientist narrating this cosmic tale, posit that the singularity isn't the beginning, but more akin to a universal birth certificate. Just when we thought we had the universe's biography figured out, along came the James Webb Telescope, challenging our perceptions. It recently stumbled upon F200 DB45, a galaxy that could rewrite cosmic history. This galaxy is so remote that, if confirmed, it would contest our comfortable narrative of a 13.8 billion-year-old universe. 
The Webb Telescope has discovered galaxies that seem to defy our current understanding, massive galaxies appearing mere millions of years after the Big Bang, an astronomical speedrun that defies conventional wisdom. Even more astounding, the telescope has detected early black holes only 700 million years after the Big Bang, hinting at a frenzied phase of black hole mergers in the universe's infancy. These discoveries are stirring up a cosmic commotion in the field of cosmology. The universe might be older than previously estimated, or perhaps it never had a beginning at all. Imagine if our universe were akin to a beloved storybook that never had a first page, continuously unfolding through various chapters. As we delve deeper into space, the notion of an infinite universe begins to resonate. If the universe appears infinite in size, why not infinite in age as well? Perhaps the Big Bang was merely a plot twist, not the opening scene. But there's a significant caveat, we need more research. Does this eternal universe concept align with our current scientific framework? Can it elucidate the intricate events surrounding the Big Bang? While there may be around 2 trillion galaxies out there, astronomers are grappling with the question of how much more lies beyond our observable reach. Virginia Trimble, an astronomer from the University of California, aptly sums up the conundrum. The universe has always been slightly larger than what we can observe. It's akin to a cosmic game of hide-and-seek, with astronomers desperately seeking clues to its true extent. John Mather, a Nobel Prize-winning cosmologist from NASA, provides further insight. He notes that while we've glimpsed the universe's edge, there's no definitive endpoint. The universe continues onward, potentially indefinitely. In their quest for answers, cosmologists are drawing inspiration from the ancient Greek mathematician Euclid. They seek to ascertain the universe's shape to unravel its mysteries. Is it akin to a saddle, a sphere, or a flat plane? The notion of a flat universe holds particular appeal for astronomers aligning with both observational data and theoretical frameworks. Yet, unlike a spherical universe, a flat one could be infinite, or perhaps not. Unfortunately, there's no foolproof method to discern between the two possibilities. As Virginia Trimble succinctly puts it, determining whether the universe is infinite is akin to discerning whether a pizza stretches infinitely or if it eventually meets a crusty edge. It's a formidable challenge, to say the least. Now, consider the concept of the universe's edge and the implications of reaching it. It's a mind-boggling notion, especially when contemplating the universe's purported infinity. Yet, scientists persist in their quest for understanding, exploring various theories and possibilities. What if the universe isn't perfectly flat? What if there's a curvature that eludes precise measurement? Positive curvature could imply a hyperspherical universe where traveling in any direction eventually brings one back to the starting point. Alternatively, some theories propose that our universe is merely a slowly expanding bubble within an infinitely inflating multiverse. In this scenario, bubble universes may have finite dimensions, potentially harboring true edges. Yet, what lies beyond these edges remains a tantalizing mystery. In their pursuit of knowledge, astronomers yearn for a theoretical lifeline, a model capable of indirectly confirming the universe's infinite nature. Much like physicists predicted the existence of particles such as the Higgs boson before their discovery, astronomers seek a model that aligns with observations and theoretical frameworks. As Virginia Trimble aptly states, if a comprehensive description of observed phenomena predicts a particular outcome, it's reasonable to expect its validity. Thus, scientists hope that a well-crafted theory will guide them toward unraveling the cosmic enigma that has captivated humanity since the advent of telescopic observations. Excitingly, you're not merely a bystander in this cosmic exploration, you can actively participate. Share your thoughts on these cosmic revelations in the comments below. Do you perceive a hidden message in those distant lights, or do you believe the universe is playing a cosmic game of hide and seek? If you share my fascination with space, express it by hitting the like button, subscribing, and activating the notification bell. We'll keep you abreast of the latest discoveries and delve deeper into the cosmos's secrets. Until then, keep pondering, keep exploring, who knows? You might be the one to unlock the universe's code. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time.